We just went up like 100 stairs. Hey, I know. I have an idea. I want to smoke a bunch of pot and drink a bunch of beer and go up a bunch of stairs. Sure, I do. Yeah. <laughs> it's real fun. Yeah, but we're here. We're headed to Madhouse Comedy Club. We're running real late. But it's all right, we're gonna make a big grand entrance. We're gonna do the big thing. We're here. We're going straight. This should have like a fucking little like tram like at the airport. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yep. Oh, that's so sick. And then we all have uh, little skinny legs. Because <laughs> we never walk or do anything. Everyone's all fit and shit. Yeah. I want shoes with conveyor belts on my shoes. <laughs> so it's like It's a roller skates. We're making a good time. Yeah. Scary. Huh? Keep that faded going, that's good. That, that's good. You guys like this shit, right? Fast fact, Tyga started off as a porn star down in Miami, Florida. Did you know that? Fast fact. <laughs> Did you know that 2 Chains originally came out as TT Boy? And he was in player circle, remember that? Go and get your money, duffel bag boy. Remember that song? That was Two Chains, but he went by TT Boy. Now he's Two Chains. You knew that? Yeah. I couldn't get you for the jail thing. But I knew I was gonna get Two Chains. Some of my prejudices were real. <laughs> I took my 84 year, 81 year old grandma out to uh, lunch the other day to Olive Garden, and the waitress came up and asked her, "What would you like to drink?" And she looked over and crab cakes. <laughs> I'm like, no, Grandma, she wants what you would like to drink. She goes, I'll have a salad. I'm like, Grandma, what do you want to drink? I'm good. I'm like, so she heard me the whole time. She's fucking with us. I thought she's hard of hearing. She's just actually a bitch. <laughs> thought she was deaf, but she's actually a bitch. <laughs> so, isn't that weird? <laughs> uh, you guys ready to see your next comedian? He's a San Diego uh, native. You guys fucking alive? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm just checking. Put your, my finger in your butt to see if you're alive. <laughs> you, you guys were checked? No? Are you guys on a, a three way date here? What does your tattoo say right here? What does your tattoo say? Is that where you nut right on there? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Holy shit, you guys didn't think that was good? <laughs> I thought that was great. <laughs> I guess that's where I'm so sorry. Are you guys, I guess you guys are not sexually intimate together. That's where you sit on her face. Gotcha, sorry. Pardon me. <laughs> All right, let's put our hands together for our next comedian, Mr. Bo Scott. One more time for your host. Before I go, I just want to give you a piece of advice. If you're ever in a job interview and your interviewer asks if you smoke, don't go, smoke what, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys, that's my time to vote. Alright, every hand is going for Mr. Bo Scott. Alright. What's going on, guys? Miss me? Alright, so what's your game side when you throw it up? What is it? Yeah, double piece. It's not very scary. What do you got? What's your gang sign? <laughs> that's the, I don't want to fuck with it, dog. All right, what's yours? Oh, that's gay. <laughs> All right. That's really fucking Nate Flanders there, buddy. <laughs> All 
All right, uh, you're sitting back. You look stoned as hell. Very high, is all I'm saying. Are those poker chips on your shirt? Awesome, are you, are you a gambler? Awesome, man, what are the odds? <laughs> Just thinking, out loud. Are you a winner, do you win? Damn! Are you serious, do you lose all the time? Why do you keep doing it? Do you need help? There's Gamblers Anonymous, I heard. They can help you. There's no drink in front of you. You must have gambled all your money. Can someone buy him a drink? Grandma, can you buy him a drink? What are the odds? <laughs> you guys ready to see your next comedian? That's bullshit. You guys ready to see your next comedian? Yeah! He's a, good, he's a buddy of mine. And uh, he's, he's actually becoming more of my friend more and more because not only do we share things in common like pot smoking, and I think we both sell a lot of weed on different sides of town, which is good because don't step in my hood. You know what I'm saying? He stays on his fucking turf, I stay on my turf. It's cool, I know. He's a crib, I'm a blood. At birth. From birth, right, Mike? Yeah. yeah. But he's also like, organized a flag football league for pothead comedians, which is cool. So we're starting on practice on Saturday. But I'm gonna check the TPS report because I'm sure they'll fucking flake. You're like, ah, nah, maybe, maybe next Saturday we'll start practicing. <laughs> 1 30, more like 4 30. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, let's put our hands together for our next comedian. Let's put some energy in the room. Let's put it together for Mr. Medical Mike. <laughs> I'm so butthurt that I, I fucked up medicinal to the medical. <laughs> How high are you that you're mad that I fucked up medicinal versus medical? <laughs> it's medicinal! <laughs> I know it is. He's got a tag phrase. He's got a good lawyer. I know he'll sue you if you try to use it. <laughs> Remember, Mike, when I used to work for the fake Nug Life Radio? And you worked for the real Nug Life Radio? And it was awkward when we were on Facebook. You're we like, no, this is the real Nug Life Radio. And I'm like, no, we are. And you're like, no, I own the rights. And he forwarded me the, the picture of it, so I guess I did. It's funny because it's true. Yeah, I know. It's true. I remember all that. It's fucked up. Put us out of business. <laughs> they didn't pay me anything, so we're even. <laughs> You guys having fun? Yeah. Michael Mike's got so much marijuana coming out of his pores, we're all high. Yeah. I am just shaking his hand. I'm not shaking my hand for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Might smoke it later. <laughs> you guys ever been so high just flipping through your couch, washing your washing your couch on your TV, just sitting there? Yeah. 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 So Pay $39.99 a month just to watch my couch fucking sit there. <laughs> Doesn't move. Uh, you might have met my grandpa on eHarmony.com. You look familiar. Are you Get Wild on Sunday's Hot Mama 91? <laughs> oh, you look familiar. <laughs> she did. Could you go like this? Anybody have kids at home that's uh, babies getting babysat? I'm fucking scared. My mom and my sister watch my kid. And I'm fucking. I'm racing home. These bitches are in my refrigerator eating all my food. They're not even watching my daughter. They're just eating all my fucking food. They're like, ah! I got secret cameras. I'm watching their ass. I'm serious. I'm a pothead. I'm paranoid. I watch that shit. And eat some popcorn. How are you and your date back here? Wife, what? Oh, wife, okay, well thank you for uh, interjecting on my set. Uh, how's your wife, oh, he's dusting her up, holding her tightly. Uh, how, how's your date? What's your eye prescription these days? Uh, I used to be, I, I, do you remember your eye prescription? Man, I was blind as a bat when I wore glasses. I was in negative 4.25. Negative 375 4.25. 
Fuck, you guys. Can you take your glasses off? Take your glasses off. Fuck each other blind. You guys go up from like sevens to nines like that. <laughs> you just take your shit off, have a drink. You're like, damn, baby. You don't look so nerdy now. And then you choke her. No? See? It's domestic violence if she doesn't consent to that shit. <laughs> you guys ready to see your next comedian? Alright, let's fucking get our energy back up there. And let's put our hands together. I can't fuck his name up because it's super simple. Let's put our hands together for Scott Smith. <laughs>
your hands go for Mr. Michael Calhoun. It's been working out, hasn't he? Look, that shit's working, buddy. You guys having fun? Awesome, I took my fucking jacket off. Yeah. See Einstein smoking? Smoking the weed, doing his numbers. I don't think Einstein was fucking that big of a, a scientist. I think he sold weed and all that shit was his, was all of his fucking notes. You know? We call it fucking code, that's all. You guys didn't even know. <laughs> What's that? What'd you say? I know, it's okay, the people want to know. Alright, will you slap her later? Thanks. <laughs> it's not domestically violent if you make it sexual. Just smack her and you're like, Psh! you like that? <laughs> Alright. Smack her. That's why I married my wife, so I can smack her around. <laughs> Legally. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. <laughs> she got a black eye, I already told her once. I'm giving them out, do you guys want one? The farm hand. What are you guys doing in the back? You guys just chilling? You guys having fun? All right, you guys are wasted. You're just waiting for me to shut the fuck up so you can take her home and bang her, huh? <laughs> He's like, ah, just fucking wrap it up, homie. I'm gonna bang my bitch. All right, I got like two more comedians. You guys ready for two more comedians? Yeah. We got our next comedian, then we have our headliner. You guys excited? Hang on. <laughs> All right, so uh, the next comedian is coming to stage. I think he just got out of jail right now. He's fresh out on bond too. We show that coming. Let's put our hands together for Mr. Ryan Shores. <laughs> Thank you very much.